The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. All the tests are good. The doc doctor said I got another 25 to 30 years. God bless him. Anyway, uh, we'll take a look here at the German DAX. As you can see, we made a 78% retracement of the low uh, and also a beautiful ABCD pattern. We had a nice rally. Uh, you can see by the downtrend line, it stopped with that 135 pattern. We need to get it above the 61% retracement level to keep the uh, market moving higher. Well, uh, since uh, we were on here, Monday was the last time, and of course we talked about this a little bit. We should talk about it again because I think it's uh, relatively important from a technical basis. Uh, here is the um, the Dow Jones. You'll notice that it made a 382 uh, correction. Uh, from the high, uh, that was an ABCD structure in there. The Dow Jones is the strongest of the indices, so I uh, need to pay uh, close attention to that. We had the NASDAQ. I have a pretty nice move. Uh, now, it had extended down a little bit, but it was still uh, right near the 382 level also. We'll get this level, level here. Folks, I don't know whether this is the major bottom or not. All I know is it has the appearance of a major bottom. Uh, you know, we never know for sure you know, how these things are going to line up. But one other one, you know, if you like Fibonacci numbers, and, and a lot of people do, but here's a, here's a strange coincidence. Look at the Apple. You know, this is a, one of the most widely traded. It is the most widely traded stock. And look where it stopped. Exactly at the 61% retracement, 170 and a half. Now, <laughs> can, can you explain to me how so many people are buying it there? Someone must have read a book about Fibonacci or something. And look at the upside. It stopped right at the 78% level at the upside. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, that's uh, whether they work or not. I don't know. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. But that's, uh, you know, to see what's going on. But uh, we'll have to go in. I like to, let's quote just David White, the master, the super Dave. Gosh darn it. I really appreciate everything you send me, my friend. It's uh, it's invaluable. But he's saying here, when it is not in our power to determine what is true, we ought to act in accordance of what is most probable. Descartes. Oh, he was a second baseman for the Baltimore Orioles back in the 60s. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. That, my little uh, format on that would be trade what you see, not what you think. And let's get back to that right now. I'm going to give you a little story, boys and girls. This is story time here at TFNN. I have to do something to try to give you a little bit of knowledge from old experience. Here is the chart going back to soybeans, a monthly chart. You'll notice the bottoming in December of 75 that move between 74 and 76 was my learning experience the old chinese proverb is the wise the smart man learns from his mistakes the wise man learns from the mistakes of others and i was not wise i was smart i had learned from my own mistakes but you'll notice here i didn't trade until 76 and if you notice those early months of 76 the soybean setting down there in a monthly chart. There was a nice Gartley there uh, sometime around April, May, somewhere around that ballpark, yeah, somewhere in that ballpark. And that's when Oscar McClure and Dave Nelson, Jim Sibbett and Earl Hattity were so wildly bullish on beans and nobody else was. They were fundamentalists and I was a technician, but I really respected those old timers and they took me under their wing. They told me what to look for. So I started buying spreads, you know, July, November beans, that kind of thing. But the key point here was if you look at it, we had a big move in the spring of 76. That was a really big move. And the market beans went from 450 uh, all the way up to 750. Now, uh, believe me, folks, that that's a huge move. That's like $15,000 a contract. That was, that was me. I mean, I had uh, over 100 people uh, involved with about three different brokers, 
and we were buying these spreads. These were all relatives and friends. I made no money off of it. All I did was open the commission or open the uh, opportunity to, to the brokers to make the commission, which I never took any of. But we we're all very happy. We all made a lot of money. But the thing that I wanted to bring to your attention is on that high day, if you'll see the high day in 1977, on that day, the Reuters machine came out. It was over a weekend, and it said it was, I believe, right around the 1st of June. Today's Tournament's birthday, JT. I know you're listening. Happy birthday to you, Bubba. I hear the sound of one hand clapping. But uh, he was one of the one of my brokers, and of course, been my friend for 50 years. But let's take a look here at what happened. Uh, the the call was that the uh, soybeans were going to be up the limit at least three days in a row. Ivan Hour at Conti Commodity was on the squawk box. He said he'd never seen so much buying come into the market before the open. And uh, here it was supposed to be up three limits. Well, I'm there with a whole bunch of contracts, and i got to tell the brokers, look, put your buy, st put sell stops one penny, one penny below the previous day's close. In other words, if it got to be unchanged, I didn't want to have anything to do with that. And we wrote all those orders. It took about an hour to put the orders in. We had to do them by phone. They didn't do teletype at Conti. And so that's what I did. And as the market started about an hour before, it was be limit up, limit up, limit up, and then about 30 minutes. Uh, there's a little selling in the back end options for uh, 1978 beans, but the rest of them are lock solid. They will not trade today. About 15 minutes before the market opened, a little selling uh, somewhere around uh, December, November and uh, uh, and August beans, but the rest of them nearby is going to be up. And then Ivan comes on five minutes. He says, you know, the, these, these beans are not nearly as strong as we thought they were going to be. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're not going to open higher. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And boom, they were limit down. And you can see those red dots there. Those are red dots. They went from 1050 all the way down to 525 over a period of three months. And this was with really bullish fundamentals. This was the move that bankrupt Cook Grain and Willard Sparks. And I happened to have a whole lot of contracts against what they were doing. He contacted me afterwards <laughs> and asked me why in the world was I so bullish the beans and I said well just got really lucky because I, I didn't have time to tell him about the technical nature of it uh, he had to be happened to be a good friend of Jay Cross because they were both from Memphis and I had a nice chat with him I said hey I just got lucky well uh, he was one of the greatest traders of all time at Sparks Commodities but the reason why I'm bringing that to your attention folks is I write a newsletter 24 7 and I bring in the things about the, uh, yes, yeah, Sparks went bankrupt during that. Let, let me just get to this uh, thing here about this. It's going to take me a little bit longer, but I, I think it's relatively important because it's experience, you know. Uh, that That's really it. Look look at this. This is what I said in the newsletter. We got really bullish, uh, really bullish stuff happening uh, in the grains. I mean, they're, they're having a hard time planting corn and beans. That's the understatement of the year. But look, look where beans stopped. They stopped exactly at the 78% retracement of the May high and 61% retracement of the uh, February high and 50% retracement from the December high. So I think that is relatively strong resistance. Now, you got two monster gaps in there. You can see this is when the weather started to really get bad. So my assumption was, you know, until these beans get above $9, uh, you know, it looks to me that was 920 in the October uh, November, November beans that they have a you know a potential to go down and that's what I was referring to just a technical picture that's all eight seven seven nine two seven. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, one of the tombstones from the uh, Tombstone Cemetery there in Tombstone, Arizona, and it's one of my favorite ones. It's Here Lies Lester Moore, shot four times with a 44, no less, no more. All of these are really tombstones, folks, and I hope if you ever come out to visit me, take a tried over to Tombstone to see it because it's really an historical place. It's a Jewish national cemetery, uh, mainly because of Big Nose Kate, you know, the one that uh, was going with, uh, I think it was uh, Bat Masterson at the time, uh, was, uh, uh, it's all it's all part of the history of the West. In 1886, uh, the, um, I think 1886, 1885, I believe, was a go fight at the go OK Corral. And Marshall Earp and his brothers and stuff against the Clantons and all that thing was all historical. But if in in that year it was Tombstone was bigger than Los Angeles, folks. It had I believe 30,000 people. There were 15,000 miners and 15,000 dancing girls. And I used the word dancing girls with a little bit of sartorial excellence there. I'm not exactly what they were, but uh, supposedly that's uh, where it happened. And a few years later, the mines went out, the silver mines went out. And uh, you can still visit those silver mines if you ever get up there. But it's a really cool place to be. And the reason why I bring this up, we're talking about gunslingers, okay? And we've got a gunslinger here at TFNN. We have to expose him, folks. We have to expose the gunslinger right now. And his name is Norman calls it to the minute Winsky. Take a look at this, folks. He posted this a couple of days before. Look at look at uh, the third of uh, uh, May. Well, no, that's June. <laughs> look at the third of May. Look at the look at the low there, folks. He only missed it by seven seven minutes. 
So I told Norm, Norm, you get closer than seven minutes, we'll have you back on again. So at least he came really close once. Anyway, it was a tremendous call, I think. Maybe it means something in astrology or not. I don't know. Who knows uh, what it is. Uh, boy, da David, you must have your hand on Google to know all that stuff because <laughs> it was really uh, – I didn't, I didn't know that she was Hungarian, but anyway, <laughs> big nose Kate. Anyway, it was uh, – very interesting, though. I've always enjoyed those old movies and uh, a lot of fun. Okay, let's move on to a couple things that we need to uh, discuss. I personally believe that we have made a major bottom in the stock market, boys and girls. We moved 100 handles in three days in, in the S&P. We haven't done that very, very often. So, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about the fundamentals. I don't say that I ever did, and I never will. But uh, just keep in mind that is a really important number. We go back there again, uh, and below, and we go below there again. Uh, the 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 jury is going to be changing its verdict because uh, th this is a really bullish uh, the way we came out of here and everything. I mean, it, you know, not just uh, you know not just the Nasdaq, but the Dow's leading the pack. You know, the New York Stock Exchange Index. Through, all these were 382 retracements. That's right out of Gartley's book, page 222. And he said, you know, watch that very closely. If you have any questions today, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And uh, we'll be moving on to some of the things. I wanted to post uh, one of the fundamentals things that I got from our good friend, Rich Anderson. It's from one of the big hedge fund guys. And he's bringing this to our attention, the fact that there's the Chinese PMI, the employment has been going down, making new lows, extremely bearish. Uh, the, the guy at the hedge fund forgot to mention that, the, you know, the Chinese market has had one heck of a rally, but that's neither here nor there. These are fundamentals, folks, that that I cannot, uh, I cannot work with them. Uh, my mental capacity isn't enough. I, you know, I, I, I'm a little bit smarter than a broken knife, but not too often. But the thing is, you know, after all the education that I had, and look at all the economics, I have a master's in st statistics and economics and, uh, you know, BS and whatever it was, <laughs> pharmacy. Uh, but you know, when I look at this, it, the only thing that I can see is uh, – uh, is the charts. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. You know, if prices are going up, you know, it's going down. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention, you know, I, I have some really good friends that do a lot of trading. And when they saw my newsletter and that I said that there was going to be resistance in the grains, I mean, they called me up and, uh, you know, and uh, said, you know, you're really wrong on this one. Hey, hey, I said, I'm wrong a lot. I said, all I know is it's slowing down here. That's the bottom line. You know, if it gets above 460 in December corn, I certainly want to be wouldn't want to be short. But, uh, you know, that's it. All right. Anyway, that's my two cents worth. We'll keep a close eye on that. By the way, don't forget, Friday we have Shane, the wolf trader, Smolian coming in, which is we haven't had him in for well over a year now. Hopefully we're going to get him back on a regular basis. But he's going to be with us for the whole hour on Friday. Uh, we certainly don't want to uh, miss that because he's always got some, you know, really super information. And uh, I think that would be something that we would like to. I like one of David White's favorite quotes is, you know, exit when you can, not when you have to, because that's really, really impressive. Marshall, you have my you have my mind being read. We're going to bring up the old uh, precious metals now because I think this is important. We'll probably have to carry it into the break because there's a lot to say here. Here is the chart that we've been watching for the gold for quite some time. Here again, you'll notice the full moon back on December the 4th was the bottom, the left shoulder. The full moon lunar eclipse on August the 12th, the head, and the full moon of April the 20th, and that was the first bottom at 1267. Remember, we made a triple bottom there, 1267, 1268, 1271, and then we've had the two big gaps up today. And as you can see, we are challenging the uh, February high, which is uh, 1349 and a half. Folks, if it doesn't get above 1349 and a half, I'm going to give everybody a free uh, subscription to, uh, let's see, what is free that I could give them to? Hmm. I'll think of something. Anyway, th this thing, if it doesn't get above there, I'm going to be totally uh, surprised. Tom said on his uh, show this morning that we clear that 1378, uh, uh, 1380 level. This thing has $1,500 written all over it. I mean, with a head and shoulders pattern like that, uh, just the ABCD structure takes you to 1500 
And believe me, between 1500 and 1900, uh, yeah, this thing could really go. Now, that's me being bullish. Everybody should get out and sell the positions right now. But unfortunately, you have to hang on sometimes. One of the things that I did wrong this year was I was long the hogs. And I got out at a, a nine, an eight cent profit, and they immediately jumped another ten cents. I lost uh, a lot of subscribers then because uh, the fact that they weren't involved with that last uh, uh, four thousand dollars. You know, I can't get them all, but uh, that's the way it is. I was hoping to buy them on a pullback that never came. This move in gold and silver, this is for real, folks. In the gold, it is. I'm not so sure of silver and platinum, but it's real for gold. Uh, it really is. It's looking very, very interesting here. Well, it might change in 10 minutes, but right now that's what it looks like. Well, I hope that helps. Anyway, we'll get back here and we'll look at a few other things and uh, keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. They're always nice to have some questions. Makes my job here at TFNN a whole lot easier. And uh, be sure to call in at 877-927-6648. That's where you want to call in on. We get back, we'll do some other things. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to uh, post a chart, some information that David White sends out. Uh, David, I, I really sincerely mean this. You really bring a lot to this den, and uh, you certainly changed uh, my life and made it a whole lot easier with your quotes and stuff. But uh, here's the put-call ratios for the VIX index. You can see there on May 31st, it was one of the highest levels, and then, of course, we bought them on the new moon uh, on Monday. Boy, that that was very in very informative for me, and plus we're sitting right at that uh, 2730 level that we're looking at. The low was uh, uh, 28, uh, what, 27, uh, 2875, and that last point and a half, that was Norman's fault because he had the uh, full moon off, or the new moon off by seven minutes. If he'd had it right, it'd have been spot on. But we'll have to wait and see. But that's very important to watch these things because this is a different way of looking at uh, the uh, the way the markets extend out and you know they they get the most bearish at the bottom and most bullish at the top so that's one of the things we want to keep on oh we've got a caller from uh, Palm Harbor Florida Jim what can I help you with Larry uh, listening to you and uh, also Norm came out where we should have some changes with the with the moon I I got very lucky I bought I bought ten GLD calls the twenty two calls that exp the weeklies that expired this Friday for a half last Thursday uh, those those calls have now gone to 3,700. Um, unfortunately, they normally what I would have done was sold the 25s, 125s mm -hmm. against them for a half. So I, I would have locked my gain in at 125 and a half. Well, now we we keep going. Um, I want to see. I know you were saying we're going to come up with some resistance pretty quick here on gold around 1350 on on the August gold. So I'm trying to find an equivalent resistance on GLD that we're going to hit this week, and then I have got to make a decision to, I will have to close out that option and roll roll to uh, another strike and another weekly option. Well, so let me explain that today. Let me, uh, let me give you a, a, a little bit of old friendly advice from an old timer, okay? As I look out here over the uh, 200 acres here at Tucson, Arizona, that actually narrows down to about a 16th of an acre, I can see Walter the burrow out there munching on a cactus and he's looking over at me shaking his head because the only 100% rule that I have ever seen that works 100% of the time, Jim, is something that Larry Wills Williams gave me, oh, 30, no, 40 years ago. And he said, there's an indicator that never fails. And I said, Larry, what is it? And he said, it's a telephone indicator. And I says, what do you mean? He says, when you are calculating you know, how much money you're making, pick up the telephone and get out of the position because the greed index just went tilt. And right. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid of that. So be real careful up in here because, you know, these call options can, you know, they can evaporate very, very quickly. So make sure that you protect yourself, my friend. Yes. And, 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 should, and should we get above 1350, this is just the beginning. You know, I, I really believe this is the beginning. And, you know, this could be a double top, too. I don't know. But what, when you just explained to me what you were doing, it was really great to hear it and everything. But the first thing that flashed in my mind was that little burrow out there on the, the back 40 shaking his head saying, be careful, <laughs> because well, that's a that's a danger sign. Yeah, I definitely am not going to give give away thirty seven hundred dollars. That's that's money I can use at the World Series of Poker next week. You uh, they have a senior <laughs> event, Larry. Um, yeah, no, no, I, oh. I'm too old for the senior event. They have to have a multi senior event. Those I played in that thing three times. I've won my entry into those things three times, but uh, the closest I ever got. Uh, was down to about 900, I believe. Uh, you had to get nowadays. You have to get into about 600 to cash. But uh, I've cashed, you know, I've cashed some other tournaments, little ones, but nothing like the World Series. Those guys, first of all, they're extremely good because you see them, you see them all the time, and you know they're doing it full time. And I'm, I mean, I'm just a putzer, you know. I just, I have fun doing it. I play at low level. I enjoy the game, and that's about it. And I don't expect it to go any farther. You know than that, but I do have fun at it. That's for sure. <laughs> um, and I do have a question uh, on platinum. I mean, we're over $500 yes. spread right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Rather than holding the physical uh, ETF contract, what I was doing was buying the physical slabbed uh, mm -hmm. platinum one ounce eagles. And mm -hmm. I was going fifth. You know, I'm going back three, four, five years ago. I was buying the you know 50% platinum one ounce proof eagles and and one ounce platinum, or excuse me, one ounce gold, uh, uncirculated eagles. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
figuring at some point in time that spread has to narrow. And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, as a technician, you've got to trade what you see. But mm -hmm. it, it's like the market is telling us or telling me that we're going to all electric cars or a, a sufficient number yeah. of electric cars because we're not going to need as many platinum catalytic yep. converters. And then, then they went with palladium for some reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, platinum has just yep. been sitting. I don't know if you... Well, I, I look at that, and it reminds and me of uh, Roy Fassel was the manager of the county office during those years when I first got started. Twentyman was one of the brokers there. That uh, Twentyman was originally at Clayton uh, Commodity uh, across the street, and then when uh, McCulloch Oil came in er, to the big building, uh, Conti took the top office and bought out Roy Longstreet, and Jim moved over with Roy. And I remember Roy Longstreet there in the office one day. They were talking about spreads, and he said, "Son." He said, just remember, he spread is like a stick with S on both ends. It don't make any difference what hand you let go of. You still got S on one hand. Right. So I'm a, net, I'm a net position trader. The spreads are great. But frankly, Jim, if you'd have told me that platinum would be at a discount to gold like this, I would have said you'd have to be in the sanitarium, and I would be the one in the sanitarium because I, I just can't understand it. They must all be going to electric cars because – you know, there's virtually no demand for platinum, and it's you know, in jewelry, it's tough because it's so hard to work with. So, I, I, I just don't know. And, and the crazy part is, you go to a coin dealer, no one has any in stock because they don't want to get stuck yeah. holding the bag. So you're talking, even though uh, platinum is at 833, you'd be lucky to buy an ounce of platinum under 900. Physical. Oh, yes, the, the spreads are huge. And not only that, but when you take the bar in, you see there's so many counterfeits out there, it's really hard to, you know, you can't assay it right away. And to get it assayed, it's going to cost you 75 to 100 bucks. If you've got one ounce, you're talking 100, you're talking 10% of the value just to get it assayed. Whereas if you've got gold and silver, they can tell in a heartbeat, you know, just by using the tone of right. the gold and silver, uh, you know, what it's worth. But platinum is not that way. So it's costs a great deal. Same thing is true of palladium. You know, palladium's got a spread of $100 sometimes if you try to buy palladium. Okay. Well, uh, I hope I hope that helps. I just, hey, do me a favor. Yes. Check in with me. You don't have to do it personally. I mean, on the line here, but to drop me an email that you got out okay, because I'm not going to use another sleepless night, and I have enough of those on the book already. So make sure that you let me know that uh, that you got out okay. Oh, that won't be a problem. I'm going to, my plan is if GLD gets back towards um, 126. Mm -hmm. I'll be out of that trade. Tra I have to be out by Friday because it's a weekly call option. It's a 122 call option that expires this Friday. Okay, that makes so good I, sense. So I do have to make that move, okay. um, and it will be during market hours because this ETF only trades market hours, unlike a future where you can set your stop, go to sleep, and. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know what sleep is, but the stop part I understand. <laughs> hey, Jim, when when you're finished here, go online and to TFNN. I'm going to post a chart in from Bill Meridian. It's a gold weekly cycle and gold monthly cycle, and they're all turning up big time. So this does have uh, some potential. So if you get a chance, uh, go take a look at that. It's uh, real interesting. Thanks for your help, Larry. You have a great you day. You bet. You bet. Thanks for calling in, Jim, from Palm Harbor, Florida. 877-927-6648 if you have any questions, and we'll be happy to answer them, but uh, we'll uh, be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I've been asked to take a look at Bitcoin here. We'll bring it up so you can take a look at it. Um, this is the one we're going to be watching here, as we always have. You notice we had that bottom down there where the Gartley happened at uh, 3,300. Uh, the ABCD structure going all the way back to the highs in January, 19,000 measured to 3,800. We went below that by quite a bit because of the volatility on the way down. But then we went sideways from December, January, February, March. And then, of course, we had the a little bit of a pullback with that Gartley, then the big run up. Uh, up to 8,400, and we backed off to 6,400, which was 382. We went up and made a new high up there, and now we're just backing and filling between 9,000 and probably 6,400. There'll probably be a lot of swings in between that will be, be tradable. So that's what it looks like from Bitcoin right now. There's also the possibility that this little pullback that we're getting right now is nothing more than a 382 pullback, and then we're going to be back on our way up to that uh, 11,000, 12,000 area, which is the 382 retracement of that whole move down from 19,000, you know, down to uh, 3,200. Uh, so uh, that's a that's a huge move. And of course, we'll see running around uh, what's going on here. Uh, they're giving some accolades here to David White because uh, they really are very thoughtful and helpful. Jimmy, you're absolutely correct. I really enjoy him. I, I can't keep up with all the reading that he does so that he puts these quotes in here that are really spot on and he reads incessantly. So that's uh, what's really uh, what's really interesting. So anyway, I when I was having the conversation with Jim, I hope you understand that I was not trying to scare him out of position. I was just trying to get him to think uh, of what was actually going on so that he didn't give it all back. I've seen too many times this. When I was with John Hill, uh, this was going back uh, 80, 1981 when we were over there, and uh, gold had had a pretty good rally uh, after the uh, you know the drop from January into uh, uh, January of 80. It broke really hard, and it was rallying back into 1981, late 81, and the um, the gentleman was in the office there with John, and he was saying, you know, boy, he had all kinds, he'd made this, he was going to buy a house and a car, and he was going to buy a, a business and stuff like that, and John says, you know, Harold, he said, you can make that all come true with just one word, and Harold says, what's that, John? He said, sell, and Harold said, I think it's going to go higher, and John said, well, it might. 
but it might not. And of course, that was the high, and uh, Harold uh, barely got out with his skin. He made money, but it was just a few thousand as opposed to 150,000 that he was looking at. And 150,000 to Harold was a lot of bread because he was in his late 60s. He was a carpenter, and to see a carpenter give three years income back by being greedy is a little bit scary. So whether that means much or not, you know, I really don't know, but we'll have to uh, to wait and see. Okay, someone's asked a question about negative interest rates. Boys and girls, I will never understand those. Uh, that, to me, doesn't make any economic sense at all. I mean, like zero. Uh, I really don't understand it at all. I will post this chart that I posted before. This is of uh, the... Uh, the 10-year T-note using uh, the Wyckoff uh, type of analysis. You can see the one, two, three drive to a top pattern. We're completing somewhere in here if that's in fact what it's doing. And then you can also see the fact that we had one of those way back in March and June of last year. So it was, uh, they actually topped in July. So whether those patterns mean anything or not, you know, I don't know. But negative interest rates doesn't mean any sense at all. Stop and think, folks. Someone stops you on the street and said, here, you know, I'll give you, uh, give me your $10,000 and I'll only charge you $250 for holding it for you <laughs> with no guarantee that you're going to get it back. Hello? We need a judge's ruling on that one. That that's just doesn't make any sense. But, you know, the guys that are talking about this is, uh, you know, these, these guys are real heavy PhDs types. You know, Lacey Hunt and some of these other guys, Ben Hunt. I mean, the, these guys are, they're really, uh, they're really, really very smart. Uh, and, I, you know, they, they, they tell the case for negative interest rates, but historically, go back, we've never seen it. So we're re re rewriting history, and maybe that's what it's going to happen. But I certainly, you know, may, you know, I'm wrong a lot, but, you know, all I can tell you is it doesn't make any sense to me. But use a stop. That's all you can do. Remember, that's the only thing that protects you from the, what's really happening, and that is the stops. Because if you don't, and if you don't, then you're telling the market that you know more than it does, and that's important. I wanted to bring this uh, uh, also this last chart from uh, Larry Williams. We brought it out to your attention on Monday. You'll notice that he was looking for a bottom to coming in here around the uh, 12th and then a high around the 19th. Uh, our, our thing looks like uh, the, at least the Bradley model that we've looked at that seems to be, you know, hanging in there pretty good right now, and that could change in a heartbeat too. But if we take a quick look at it, <laughs> if you take a quick look at it, uh, we had a bottom here June, June 6th. It bottomed on Monday, and then you'll see uh, that we had a pretty good rally. Ours is saying that it bottomed on June 6th and will rally into August 25th. Well, that's a few weeks off from what Larry's looking at, but uh, his comes from Timing Solutions. This is a pure Bradley model. This is a uh, all 10 planets weighted by the weights that the Yale University astrophysicist gave it. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the dates are pretty good. And when it, when it lines up really well, it usually keeps lining up. There's been years where it just literally is perfect for two or three years, and then it inverts two or three times during the year, which makes it a little troubling. But the, Dra the Bradley dates are pretty good because they're based on lunar and Venus and Mars and all the other stuff. And, you know, those are the main things that you uh, – that you're watching as we go through with this. The U.S. dollar, we want to spend a time here with the dollar because we mentioned that it was uh, at that major 61% retracement on the weekly chart last week. And uh, we've had the big break now. The euro's popped above uh, 113. Finally, uh, we believe once it got above 112.40, that was the biggest rally we've had so far. That told us that the euro was most probably looking uh, at a really good rally. The Australian dollar's working very nice for us. Uh, it's got a, a nice position going on. And you'll notice here that uh, this euro chart that I'm going to bring to your attention here uh, was uh, what you're going. You're right, trading without a stop is like uh, using either a belt or suspenders. It's worse than that because you're basically telling the market that you know more than it does. And she doesn't like to hear that. So. If you notice, we've now cleared out the highs of the last week or so. Uh, in fact, there's, oh, we've actually cleaned. Wow, we've already done that. I didn't realize it. We've taken out the May high, folks, that and the April highs. Oh, no, 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 just the May highs. We're close to the April highs. So that's a that's a big move. So it's telling you that that U.S. dollar has changed. The real key, folks, look look at the red boxes there. You see 1618, 127, 1618. Notice the three major lows there. I 
put it because they were so important. 127, 1618, 1618. You know, they were ready to go. If it went below that, Katie barred the door to the downside, but it didn't do that. It held that level. So we don't know whether it's going to work or not, do we? But you pay your money and you take your choice. And right now, the choice is this euro looks like it's got a target of 113.50, which is the 61% uh, retracement of that high back in March. And if we clear those March highs at 114.45, this puppy's got game. But uh, it's going to have to take a while to do that. So we'll see if that's uh, going to be the case or not. Oh, boy. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I had a chart for uh, August cattle, but unfortunately I lost it. Uh, it was down at that level of 103, and we had a 1.618 expansion there. We had a little bit of a rally, but here again, you know, we're seeing a situation in the hog market that is extremely bullish with fundamentals, as bullish as can be. And yet, when you look at the charts, you can see that they've taken the fundamentals and said, hey, let's forget about the fundamentals. You got this big ABCD pattern down here around 80. Uh, Mr. Uh, Z just posted it, uh, the fact that 
a, they just hit 80, and that was a, a Gartley pattern down there. The 707 is the reciprocal of the square root of 2. 1.414 is the square root of 2. The reciprocal of that is 707. That's all related to electricity, as told to me by Dr. Al Larson. So it's a very valid number. The distance between 618 and 707 for trading hogs is very, very small, pretty much incidental, but it is a number that you need to pay attention to because sometimes you see it. I've seen corn for two years go to 707 on the downside and 1.414 on the upside for expansion. So when you see those numbers, they're not just going to appear once. They're going to appear over and over again until it shifts the next cycle because they do repeat with regularity, but they do shift. And that's what people get confused with about Fibonacci numbers is that they don't understand when that shift is occurring. That usually occurs during periods where you have gaps, like we're seeing now in the uh, gold market. And, uh, you know, so that's uh, relatively important from, you know, the way I see it. So there's one other thing to do, and that is to make sure that you live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. We're going to be talking a little bit about the, the uh, FANG stocks tomorrow. And don't forget that we do have Shane Smolian on for Friday. It's going to be a full hour, so you don't want to miss that. The uh, man knows his stuff. So that's it, folks. And we'll see you on the show tomorrow, 877-927-6648 if you want to call in. And I think we're being... Uh, I don't know who comes up next. I believe it's uh, Steve Rhodes, but I'm not sure. 